Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh! Grabbing some poles. We're going to go out for a second time today. Uh, probably this will better be the beginning of a new video. But we went fishing earlier this morning. Made a video from that. If you guys haven't checked it out, check the description. Uh, enjoy the video. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about, fellas. We got the goods. Oh, goodness. I'm so full. We are headed to the same lake we were this morning. Uh, not this morning, this afternoon. I don't know what time it was. The one where we caught a bunch on the worms. Uh, but we're gonna go there and we're gonna try throwing frogs instead of worms in hopes to get a cool top water video for you. And uh, we found some good fish, one over three, a lot pushing uh, three pounds. So we're gonna try that. It is, what I say, 6.30. So by the time we get there and get the boat in the water, it'll be about 7, 7.15. That gives us two, two and a half hours of fishing, which is plenty of time. It is 97 degrees still out here, which is terrible. Uh, but we're just we're just gonna go for it. We drove all the way out to Western Nebraska for this. Hopefully they're eating frogs. Oh, watch your step. So this is the lake we showed up to. This is not the same lake we went to. It's this one we just. You guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see that? Yeah, you guys can see semi trucks driving. That's the highway, interstate, something. We saw this little piece of water chilling. Oh, dude, it's crystal clear water. That's what I like to see. We uh we saw this little area. This is not a boat ramp at all. Not even not even slightly. We're gonna put in here. This this lake looks flame. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go fishing. There's one. No, it's not a bad one though. It's a frog fish. Little squeaker, that's about a little pounder. Hopefully, we can upgrade from him. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! Oh! Keep your right tip up. Right tip up. Oh! Oh! Look at him! Look at him! Ate that frog, dude. All right, Matt just caught this. Uh, Nice bass. We're probably thinking it's close to four. We'll get a weight on her once we uh, get to Mill Lake real quick. Got the real sonar scale. See what she says. Guessing close to four. 3.79. So almost a four pounder. A few moments later. All right, YouTube. Today is coming to an end. Not the best. Uh, this morning was fine. Uh, actually, this morning sucked. This afternoon was good, and then tonight was all right. My friend caught about a four pounder. I don't think I'm gonna make this into a separate video. It just wasn't enough content. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the cameras up tomorrow, and we're gonna head to a brand new lake, and we're gonna do top water fishing again, and uh, see if I can just kind of do like a, a lake hopping, top water bass fishing montage video. Stay tuned. Tomorrow. It is the last day in uh, Western Nebraska. It's, what time is it? It's already 4.30 and we're packing up our cabin here. It's not looking too shabby. Throwing everything in the truck and then driving about 45 minutes east towards, uh, towards basically where we live. And there's a lake, a small little lake on the way. And that's where we're gonna stop to see if we can pull out a few fish uh, before we head home. Enjoy the video. So we made it to the lake. As you guys see, it's perfectly calm. I'm gonna put down the camera because we need to go put the boat on the water and catch some giants. There's one, got him. Not a big one. <laughs> All right, he gave up. Water skiing him in. That was the first fish of the morning on a spook out in the middle of the lake. Look at the color on these things though. Healthy. That's healthy, yeah. Real healthy. First fish of the day came on the topwater spook. One knocker, got a little one pounder here, hoping for a couple bigger fish.
one. Little guy on the frog. God, they choked it. We know there's big fish in this lake. Nothing giant, but uh, making progress on the, this was the copper's life target frog that I caught that fish on. There's a fish. Yep, there's one. It feels like a good one too. If it's not in weeds, it's a giant. But I think he's in the weeds. Come on. Uh, he's still there. I don't need it. We're good. Well, that's the biggest one so far. Yeah. Third fish of the day on the New Tech Crazy Jig. Uh, it's a little bladed jig bait. That dude's a little bigger. Still looking for a uh, big mama. There's one out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a big one. No, but it's bigger. They might be out deeper. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Well, that's what the kind of fish we want. Look how chunky that fish is, dude. Finally putting together a little bit of a pattern. Throw her on the scale. 2.51. Hopefully you guys can see that. Not a bad fish. Biggest one so far for the day. And uh, I remember, I'll do the recap at the end of this video and explain kind of what we're doing. Definitely good fish. Come on, buddy. I'm throwing weight lists, so I'm sure yours, are, yours is. You just gotta give it time. Like, I'm just, just letting mine sit for like 10, 20 seconds. You get one? Matt got first one for him. Same rig. Lately, Texas rigged stick bait, Bass Pro brand. It's fishing the uh, the weeds is basically all they're doing. First fish for a mat. Good work. There's a fit. Got him. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh yeah. Joe. Yep. Straight up. Yep. That's a good one. Jake got hooked up. What fish is this? Two. Jake's hooked up with number two, throwing the Texas rig Sanko still. It's like a decent size one. We've been kind of graphing around, trying to find the weed line, pitching the Sankos. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's over two. There's a good one. Still finding a couple good ones. Going for the release. We're headed back to Omaha. Today was not bad, definitely not as good as I had hoped. Caught some fish, and I'm gonna end the day doing a recap, and then you guys will see a time lapse. All right, folks, gonna do a quick recap here. First fish I caught was on that dude right there. It's a uh, big spook, I don't know, super spook maybe, to one knocker. I'm not gonna go through the rod and reel uh, and line for all of these because it's gonna take too long. So if you wanna know what rod reel line setup I had for these, including links for purchases for the rods and line, that type of stuff, check the description so i caught one fish on the spook i also got one fish on the frog right there my spook fish i was casting out in the middle of the lake it's about 10 feet deep with a bunch of grass growing up uh and then my frog i was casting real shallow uh shallow matted grass stuff like that what really got the pattern going was this new tech crazy jig and i've got it in bluegill color because quite frankly there were a lot of bluegill swimming around the water was super clear so we could see them and i started casting these around over the tops of the grass tops that we were fishing. The lake was basically in just one big bowl. Deepest spot we found was 16 feet, and most of it had about 10 feet of grass growing up, maybe like five, five to 10 feet of grass. So I was throwing this dude, ripping it through the grass, and uh, I caught a few fish, I think back to back actually. Then I decided to try, try the Senko and uh, see if we can catch more fish. So for the Senko rig, it was a Texas rig Senko, and if you guys watched the video of day one of this trip that I'm on, this was the main tactic we used on that lake. Our, basically what we would do is just cast it as far as we could and uh, basically on the edges of weeds. So there'd be a big grass line we cast to the edge, we cast in the weeds, around the weeds. I was throwing a big tungsten weight, not big tungsten, like a quarter ounce tungsten weight. My uh, buddies were throwing about an eighth ounce lead weight. How you doing, Jacob? He's doing good. 
and uh, so I think the lighter one was better. I was honestly just too lazy to retie. Uh, but the, like I said, that's basically the pattern. Just throw sankles round grass. That is the lesson to take from today's video. If you guys enjoyed this uh, two-day combination since we didn't do all that well yesterday, we combined the two days. If you like that, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. What do you guys want to see? If you guys want some more how-to videos or if you want vlogs, you just let me know. Uh, that's about it. Enjoy the time lapse. Three point seven nine, so almost a four pounder. Let's see if I can. Oh, shit. well.